1D skill. Back to live action on the beam, Marie Kasuge of Japan and faltering right off the bat. Now she mounted with a very difficult mount. Just to give you an idea of how difficult it is, it's a D element skill. I'll point out as we go throughout the routine what these skills all mean. Again, she's just not on, having a very, very rough time right off the start. That was three consecutive layouts in a row. She should have got a point two bonus for that combination, but she doesn't receive that because of the fall. And remember, every time you fall off the apparatus, it's five-tenths of a point, so she's already a point in the hole right now. She really is J Japan's number one athlete. Uh, she's hung on for a very long time. I guess this is her fourth consecutive American Cup. She likes it down here in Orlando, but she has a lot of difficulty on the balance beam, and, and the changes are really incredible. The judges, just to give you an idea, the judges are still having a very difficult time getting it all together, so it's going to take some time. A nice punch front on the beam. Now, that is worth a D skill. The most difficult element you can do today, and this is another change in gymnastics, is they've now added a new category of E elements, and there are some athletes in the competition that will be throwing those skills. Very nicely done, and back handspring to a pipe down. Obviously, with two falls already on the balance beam, she's way out of contention. And her dismount, a very difficult dismount. It's an E-skill, full twisting, double back. Very, very short on her landing. 17-year-old Mari Kasuge of Japan, after a shaky beginning, ends her balance beam routine and will be back to Orlando, back to the Americans.